Hi everybody, good morning. It is Saturday the 19th of March, something like that. And um, this is gonna not, it's not gonna be a rant today. I'm just gonna talk about the community and and people in the community and that specific. Um, but about everything and um, I'll probably bounce from place to place, but um, I would just say the topic is the reborn community today, and I'm kind of sitting on the floor right here with my Ben, my little Benjamin, mommy's baby, yes you are, and hold on one second, I'm not comfortable, are you comfortable? I hope you're comfortable, because you're watching me. <laughs> One second. I like more. My legs are so dang long. I'm like a daddy long legs, you know, but with just two of them. <laughs> I wish that I could get you to be more like. Yeah, there we go. Wow, the magic of moving something. Hi, <laughs> oh, Bobbies. Oh, it's warm. Mm. Um, I see every day. Uh, in the reborn community, people's posts. I see a lot of young people, and a, a lot of people um, that their parents or families don't have money, asking for free reborns. And men, I understand you. I understand because I would. I think everybody. I think everybody in this world would love, well, everybody that loves Reborns would love a free Reborn. Um, but that just doesn't happen. And the Reborns that are free aren't really, you know, top-notch quality unless you get it from um, a giveaway. And also know that not everybody can win a giveaway. When I did my giveaway, I still got to talk to Skylar. Um, when I did my giveaway, there was going to be three winners out of 80. It's like the lottery. I mean, you could hope to win it, but you can't expect to win it, you know? And um, I'm just, I wouldn't say I'm sick or tired of, of seeing um, people ask for babies, but it's not just the asking and the baby. Like, you know, I know you have a lot of babies. If you have one to give away, I'd really appreciate it. It's, it's, what's sweeping through the reborn community, maybe this has been going on for a long time and I'm just a newbie at it, and is the desperation in the asking. I see you have, you know, a few reborn babies, can you part with one, um, yada, 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 and I understand if you might be underage and your family doesn't have money. Your mom doesn't have money. Can, can I tell you something? Most of the adults, about probably 80% of the adults that have reborns are because we've worked and we work to get the money to pay for the reborn. It's not like it poof, crystallized out of thin air, you know. It, it came out of thin air. It was because we did, you know, right now I'm doing a layaway for one. And um, it's a four month layaway. And this person is working with me. And, um, you know, I said, I would really love, really, really, really love, um, you know, the Ariella girl by the sleeping girl by Rava Sheck. But I can't, I can't do it in two months. So if you talk to people, if you really, really, really want reborn, and you talk to people, they'll work with you. You know, they just have to know that you're you're going to be committed, you know, and that's why a lot of people do the hundred dollars down, non refundable, fifty dollars down, non refundable. If it's if it's a, a cheaper bait, well, I don't want to say cheaper, more um less inexpensive, like one hundred and twenty five, hundred fifty dollars, we'll ask for twenty five dollars down, non refundable, and that's why. Um, but we um reborn moms, we work. Well, I can't say that I work. But um, the money that I get, um, if I really want something, I will, I will use that money or save that money 
to get it. I don't I don't ask my parents to borrow the money. You know, I don't call my 70-year-old dad down in Florida and say, Hey, Dad, I love a new reborn doll. Can you get me one? You know, um, I'm not trying to be harsh here. But you have to be in reality, people, that, that you just can't go up to somebody and say, I want your reborn doll and I expect for you to give it to me. That is not a reality. That is not, that is not reality. Um, can I tell you how I got Ben? Um, I have about $10,000 about ten thousand dollars in debt because I love shopping. And so I had a Macy's card and a Lane Bryant card and an Avenue card and a K Jewelers card and a Zales Jewelers card and a Gordon's Jewelers card. And I have all these cards and guess what happens with them? You go out shopping, you're in the moment, you buy all this good stuff and guess what? About two weeks later, the bill comes and you're expected to pay what the bill is or the minimum um, you know, amount due. So it's not like credit cards are just poof. You buy it and it just all disappears. It's, you have to pay. So um, I opened a PayPal credit account, um, credit card account, and that's how I got Ben on credit. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, I'm, I'm a very honest person anyway. But, um, you know, I, I would, I think we're all crushed when we, when not one of us could get Laura's, you know, um, from Little Loves, Reborns. But I would much rather have her friend Lauren get all of the Reborns. Not that she did. I'm not putting anything out there. God forbid somebody take that in the wrong context. Um, I would much rather have somebody close to Laura who was actually in her life and spent time loving on her and being her friend and making her laugh and and to get those than some strangers who just wanted to reborn. I'm not trying to be harsh here, but you cannot just go up to somebody and say, can I have one of your reborns that you work so hard to get? That's just, that's, that's not going to happen. Um, but, okay, so here are a few ways. Um, now, if you can't afford a reborn, reborn, because some of them, I mean, you know, they go from probably about eighty dollars to, you know, a few thousand dollars. Um, ben was almost about four hundred, and um, yeah, sure. Uh huh. Well, sure. Sometimes you can get deals. Sometimes, like I just sold Chloe, um, the Megan girl, and all she needed was a new body. For $65 on Etsy. Sometimes you can really get the deals. But also, if you're of age, if you're 16 years old, and um, it depends on where you live. Some of you, you know, people just um, don't live in a kind of community that you can, you know, go to somebody's house or, you know, and say, you know, I'll, I'll rake your leaves for 20 bucks. You know, maybe you, you don't have that kind of community. Um, but maybe you can do. I mean, I think the children for doing chores in, inside the house is just the, a, a natural thing. But you can do chores in the house that, that are kind of like an upgrade. Like taking out the garbage and doing the dishes and um, cleaning the room are natural natural chores. But saying, hey mom, um, if, if I go out uh, on a nice day and wash your car for you, you know, if you want, you can supervise and tell me how to do it, but I'll, I'll be doing the work. Can you give me um, $10, $15? Don't say, hey, mom, I'll wash your car for 100 bucks, because that ain't happening. She can go to a car wash for, you know, less than three. <laughs> so, um, you know, if, you, if, if your mom knows somebody that has children, and you really love children, and you're good at taking care of children, and you're 16, 17 years old, and I think that being a, a part-time babysitter, you know, on maybe weekends and Friday nights, um, every week, if you save that money, it could add up to for you to get your own reborn. Um, babysitting um, for boys that like this, that, that like reborning, most somebody's yard. I mean, I know uh, there are, are a lot of elderly people that you have no idea that really need 
somebody to shovel their driveway, to rake their leaves, and to bring bring them somewhere away, um, to to mow their lawn, rake their leaves, shovel the driveway, um, you know, just just do nice things with, and sometimes um, you can do that, and and sometimes depending on the person, elderly people might give you what what you bargain for, what what the deal is, or they might give you a little bit of extra, you know, say, I really want this, and and some people might not understand, so I would just, but there's that, and also Ashton Drake Galleries is the one where I started off, I got my first doll there, um, was it a her or a him, it was a her, it was unisex, you couldn't pick anyone, and her name was Cherish, and back eight years ago, ten years ago, um, she was for $99. And she has the um, the magnetic passy and everything, and the, um, I think the, the payments that I was paying back then were twenty five dollars a month. If you could do a little bit of chores each week, like extra chores and what you do in the home that your parents expect you to do, then you can save up money each month or each week to buy your own reborn baby. And you're right; it might not be the reborn baby that so and so has that costs seven hundred dollars. But you can't expect, as a teenager, to get a $700, to get a $300, $400 reborn baby. In most realities, that's just not going to happen unless you have the, the family and the funds and your parents will do that as a gift. And say to everybody, when Christmas, birthday, whatever rolls around, say, I either want like an American Express gift card for $50, $100, um, if you don't have a bank account, that's the best way to go. Um, the only thing is you can only use the card once for one transaction. Um, you can have do a, like a prepaid card, have many people put money on a card, give it to you for Christmas or your birthday. Um, there are many ways. You can go to your grandparents' house and say, you know, Grandma, Grandpa, I really need some extra money. I said, I really, 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 really want something really bad and um, say is there anything around the house that I can do for you that that I can get that money for go to aunts and uncles I mean don't do like an enterprise be like a you know like a car salesman and and go to this person and say oh, I, I'm, I'm so desperate and and also I have to say this and I did this a lot when I was younger don't manipulate people into giving you money because because it won't work people will give you money by being honest and truthful. I right, even got to stretch these big, big legs, these long legs. Um, by being honest and truthful, and the more you try to ma manipulate somebody, the more that's going to turn them off um, to you. And hopefully, the moms and dads and grandparents and aunties and uncles I see you do that. They will kind of bring you into reality. I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm just trying to. Open a door for children to get their reborns and, or young adults or whatever. I didn't mean to say children, sorry. <laughs> a young adult, young ladies and young lads to get your own little um, reborns. Um, you know, when I first started, I was 28. I, I No, I just started the last year, but the first one I really got I was 28 was from Ashton Drake Galleries. And they have some really nice ones on there. And some breathe and coo and hold your hand. And there is one toddler one on there that, that supposedly walks. And supposedly, I don't know how well that works. But, um, you know, Ashton, you know, and um, they might not be called reborns in your mind or whatever. or But they are. I mean, I think that Ashton Drake and there are many more of those kind of Ashton Drake. Um... Um, that that you can start with um, I think for you to just I mean let's okay I don't know what the new hot toy is right now I don't know what the new hot toy is right now but imagine okay Ben oh you go come on baby <laughs> come with mama I don't know what the new hot toy is imagine you got a one of those swagways or whatever they're called, right, for Christmas? And, or you got, um, 
what is it called? Um, just something really cool for Christmas. And it's like the new hot thing, a hoverboard, whatever, Christmas. And a lot of adults, you, they see it on your YouTube video, you're making YouTube videos about it. And all the adults come on your video and say, oh, I want that. Can you please ship it to me for free? Imagine your favorite, your most favorite possession or toy. And all the adults are coming on your channel and saying, I want that. I want that. I deserve that because I'm poor, because I'm young, or because I'm this, or I'm that, and I deserve that. What are you going to say to them? Say, get out of here. I got this for Christmas. I've been waiting for this for like six months. You know? I'm going to say, get out of here. I'm not going to give you for free, you know, my most prized possession. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be like copying Laura here, um, but it's so true, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at me. I've been in the game for about a year, and I've had Lila on credit in my ad that I'm still paying off. And um, I've had Chloe, and they, those two didn't work for me. And also, there are a lot of scammers out there. There are a lot of scammers out there, and you have to know. And um, you think that the adults just, most adults go on there and say, oh, just pick a person. I'm just going to pick this person. I'm going to send them all my money first, and then they're going to send me the doll. We look into that person. We, you know, might get, try to get their information to do like a background check. We might kind of go on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook to see if they have have pages or have accounts and see if what they're saying um, is going to hold water. And that means what they're saying, holding water means if it's true or not. Um, you know, we don't just pick somebody and say, oh, okay, you know, we're going to ship you, we're going to send you you know, $400 and I'm going to expect for you to give me my baby in five months. <laughs> that doesn't happen. You know, um, I think that um, you see people, and I did this too, I, I, I'm guilty of it too, um, and I, feel, I felt so bad when I did this because that person so deserved that reborn box opening at that time. Not going to say who it is, not going to hurt the person's feelings um but i was so 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 jealous of um somebody's reborn box opening and um i didn't realize the tough time just really tough time that person was going through and i said you know what i'm sorry god i'm sorry for coveting and um that person just god bless them and give them more and and also, we see everybody doing box opening, box opening, box opening, but you don't see the work behind the box opening. The many months on doing the layaway or the planning, going on the internet, going eBay and Etsy and all these other different sites to see exactly which one you want and uh, you know what color eyes and what color hair and, and how you want it to be and picking the person who's going to do it. And you just see, bam, box opening. And, um, um, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just trying to bring a little clarity and a little reality to the youngins of the reborn community. Okay. <laughs> what's the matter? Ooh, what's the matter? I can't have this baby in my arms and not hug him and hold him for a minute. What's the matter? Oh, no. Oh no, don't cry, no, so yeah, yeah, and um, it's, it's hard when you're a kid and you want all these things and you don't have money and you don't have a means of getting money and either that or you're just living in you have a single parent home um, and you just everything that goes to the bills or groceries or something and you don't have extra um, if you're old enough get a job 
And I, I know that sounds so easy for me to just say, get a job. Um, shop right. I mean, um, places to shop, grocery places are always hiring. Even if you're just a bagger, you know, it's manual labor. But then when you really work, you can see this is how many hours I worked this week. Say so I worked 15 hours this week and I took home $75, whatever, $100. I have no idea what the, I'm sorry, my math is always terrible. $100, am I going to use? The money that I worked for all week to put towards that or that or should I keep it for a rainy day or should I just go out and spend all of it um, yeah then I think that when you work you really get a better perspective on on the money that you have and how what you did to get it you know um, so I just I'll just pray for all the youngins out there that just really, really, and and maybe you just want a really, really want a reborn just to love. You need something to love. And that's why a lot of women get them is because, you know, um, we just, either they're, we're just collectors, we like babies, and we grew up wanting babies, and, and or we're just um, moms that never had children. Um, you know, whatever. Maybe you just really want a baby to, to hold and love and, and, um, yeah. That's the case. I get you. And I know it's easy for me to say while holding a baby. Um. Oh, yeah. And there are a lot of scammers out there and you gotta be, be careful for that. And, um. Maybe we should be asking some of the artists out there. If you see my my video artists, um, some of the stories that you go through with buyers, I would really like to hear that. I'd, I've never heard that before. Buyers are always, you know, talking about sellers and and if it's safe to to buy from you and if it's safe because we don't know you, we just saw you somewhere. And um, I'd like to hear a couple, some stories from artists who've had issues with buyers. I really, really would. I really just, I think that buyers need to hear it, that, that we're as much as a pain in the ass sometimes to you as, as we're afraid of, of um, sellers being scammers, you know. So, I swear only one time this video so far. <laughs> I think just one time. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm getting too old to sit on the floor, everybody. I'm getting too old to sit on the floor. Oh, Mr. Benjamin. Oh, Mr. Benny. <laughs> he either looks like he's always grinning or always grumpy, like. You're always grumpy. You're grumpy, baby. You a gumpy baby. And, um, yeah. So. I would like for, for everybody to just stop asking me and other people, can you give me a free baby? Because about 98% of the time, that ain't going to happen. And, um, like I said, if you really want one, start out with Ashton Drake. All you have to do now, Ashton Drake Galleries, is put like 30 maybe $40 down. You get the baby, and then you pay it off within the next three to four months. Or two months, or how many ever, you know, it takes. You know, it says payment plan, pay $25 a month for four months. If it's a $100 baby, you know. And they have good babies on there now. It's not like when it used to be, and... They have breathing babies and, and awake babies and sleeping babies and might not be quote unquote reborn. But I think that people should take that word like reborn. You know, we use it as to think what which doll is fake and which one is real. Well, technically they're all kind of fake. They're dolls. You know? Are you fake? No, mommy, I'm the real thing. <laughs> 
No, Mama. I know your thing. I am a real baby. You haven't heard a sound out of me because I'm sleeping. <laughs> you haven't heard me poop because I hadn't eaten anything today either. <gasps> you didn't. I didn't feed you today. No. Well, that's okay because I will probably won't feed you tomorrow too. Are you going to feel anything tomorrow if I don't feed you? Are you going to cry? Are you going to cry to mama? Look at that face. Look at that little face. You're so dude. I'm usually not rough with him. No, he's my baby. I do feed him every day. I do huggle him every day. Okay, it's about 26 minutes and I gotta go. And again, I'd love to hear your artist side. Um, artists, reborn artists, um, that make the reborn babies, the kids and everything. I'd love to hear your side on how buyers have been such a pain to you or buyers are scary to you or, um, you know, God forbid, your your stories of, you know, maybe you sent a perfectly looking, beautiful reborn to somebody and they, they trashed it or whatever. And I mean, I don't want to hear that because that would mean that something actually happened, you know. I don't want to hear a, like a really bad story, but it would be nice to hear the, the viewpoint of the artist's side. Always hearing viewpoints from the buyer's side, and I never hear a viewpoint from the artist's side. So, um, yeah, if I find any of those this week, I'm going to be looking for them. And uh, I'll, I'll um, hopefully put a link up somewhere. All right. I love you guys so much. No, you cannot have my baby. I love him. You cannot have my baby. This is mommy's baby. Karen's mommy's baby. Yeah. Yeah. And if I had like eight, nine, ten reborn dolls, I might do a giveaway, but I just have one. I just have one. And I have debt for two, so I still have to pay the Lila off. The Ariana. I miss my Lila. Okay, mommy's got to get off the floor, so I love you guys, and I pray that you just take this with a grain of salt, and a grain of salt, not a salt. I don't want you to assault me. <laughs> so, so that's somebody bleeping in on, on Facebook or something, so love you guys. Talk to you later.